kissing with her eyes closed At the movies in the back row We can kick it on the down low Take it to the back rows, back rows so, thank you for tuning into Culture Fix. I am joined by Emmy nominated actor, singer, songwriter, and entertainer, Max Eric. Max has made a name for himself, starring in projects such as The Young and Restless, Under the Dome, and Selling Gospel. He has just released the single Back Road, which is a slick slice of RB inspired pop, um, which we love at Culture Fix. Um, and it's really gone down a storm with his fans. So, a big thank you to Max for joining me. And I'm excited to talk to you about your music, your career, all these exciting things you've got going on. Yeah, man, I'm just like so grateful. I'm in like a state of like, everything is so surreal for me right now because this is my dream. It was always my dream to like do a lot of television and film and trance, like really like, I didn't want to put out music until I felt comfortable sharing my story. I've been making music since I was four years old, literally. Yeah. Um, but I have a lot, but ever since then, I've acquired a lot of stories. <laughs> and in those stories, like, even though the stories doesn't mean that you're necessarily comfortable sharing them, like, even in 2020, when that song Afraid came out, like, I didn't want that song to come out. That song came out because I was forced to put out that song and I'm no longer working with those people because I love them and I wish them the best, but like an artist should always feel comfortable with the art they're sharing because movies and TV, I'm playing characters. So it's like, you're kind of hiding behind like a mask, you know? And your music, like you're you. So like the messages you're putting out, the song you're putting out, people are just going to like, dissect every word and just yeah, read into it yeah i think it's important for the artist to be involved in the um in the rollout and be very comfortable sharing the words that are being said in the songs you know um so obviously there's been a, a amazing positive response to back roads is that quite overwhelming or is it just kind of quite you know does it make you feel like well the hard work paid off <laughs> you you tell me bro I, I don't even know at this point like every day it seems like something new Rudy my manager is calling me or Isaac my manager or jazz from marketing or video distribution is calling me and just something is happening that's so hi Isaac he just hopped on my other manager yeah every day something so beautiful and like surreal happens that I'm just like in a state of just like I have to ask my friends and my family like because you know I'm from a small town in New Jersey so yeah to even living in LA is crazy so I have to ask them I'm like yo like this is kind of crazy right like and they're like how do you deal with this like this is so you're doing radio interviews in this and this country and this country and this Bro, I did not, I was on the beach with my parents, my cousins in Long Beach Island, New Jersey. And we decided the date that the song was going to come out. And I just thought, you know, I love the song. I made the song when the, when my film Southern Gospel came out in theaters. The energy is so vibrant. You know, I'm proud of the song. So if it gets 10 streams, if my mom streams it 10 times then that's then, dope. yeah absolutely um so well, let's, let, more. let's chat about the recording of the track did that did it come quite quickly or was it quite a long process it was honestly pretty um it was not the longest process because i told them exactly what i subject matter wanted to talk about um jared and topped they're amazing, brilliant songwriters. And I just want to make a song about like, you know, making flings in relationships like low key, like on like the low, like don't put them on Instagram or in the media, just like, cause that's how I live my life right now. Like I, I like to have fun and hook up with people. Um, and I uh, just, I don't, here's the thing. I don't believe, really believe in about like sex until like marriage um unless you think if you think you're gonna get married to them i think it's dope like do it but for me personally my moral compass where i feel comfortable with my body 
um, especially since I show my body a lot on camera, like it's it's more about an energy connection. So like, yeah, the song is definitely the songwriting was easy for them. Yeah, there is that real sense. It just kind of the song, even when you listen, to it just flows so well, and it just kind of it's all the right spots. So you definitely uh, create some magic there. Um, think thinking of being in the studio. What is your favorite part of that process? Well, maybe it's not being in the studio. Maybe it's music videos. Maybe it's um collaborating with people. What is it about creating music that that speaks to you? We're putting we're filming a music video. Sorry, I'm eating a Clementine for breakfast right now. <laughs> yeah, um, excuse me. <laughs> uh, um, we are filming the music video October eighth. So I will definitely let you know how that goes. And if you're in the U.S love for you to come through it's gonna be sick um my favorite do you ask what my favorite process is which one yes yeah, so your favorite part of the kind of the process of putting the song out i love all of it honestly like i really love all of it i really do love all of it like i love going to the studio meeting new producers if they're not nice <laughs> which <laughs> recently everyone had been super nice yeah um, everyone's been super nice um yeah man i love going to the studio reviving the new people sharing my stories like i i'm one of those people and this is like for better or for worse it's a new jersey thing or it's like a max thing like i just like have like i just need i just share the truth I just tell you what it is. I'm God, like I'm Bible, like so. I'm very, very honest. So I, I have to be very specific about who I share my stories and thoughts and ideas with. Because sometimes I can overshare, especially if I'm thrown off. Like if let's say someone pushes back an interview and I have to do something in a Uber, and I'm like trying to make sure I'm getting to the right place I'm throwing off my game like yeah I can do things on the fly and I have done them in movies tv and music but I prefer to just be like <laughs> yeah. structure that's like my vibe like because I like I'd say zen vibes like I love yoga meditation praying like so I like things to just be like low-key and just like chill nothing like too like chaotic well, you've been in the studio recently um are there plans for an album an ep when can we expect that what's the vibe going for um he's on for one sec just because i'm curious to see if they look like on camera um basically like thanks mom love you um yeah man like i have like 130 songs in my catalog right now and every day i'm making new songs even this week so I have enough for like a few albums. So. <laughs> 20 albums worth. <laughs> yeah, but I want to give each the songs that I'm going to be putting out are going to be be so connected to my heart that I'm not just going to put out a song just to put out a song. There's going to be no filler song. There's going to be no oh, track number seven is just a little filler just to like whatever. Like, I don't do that. I just don't do that. And I, and I don't judge anyone that does. I'm just saying that's just not my vibe. Um, let's think about your acting. And are there kind of transferable skills that you can bring from the world of cinema and television to the world of music? Is it quite a sort of holistic career that you've got? Are there what? Sorry. So, that so are, there, are there skills that you can bring from the world of acting um, to your, your music? I mean, yeah, I think I do a lot of, like, techniques that help me my acting, that help my music, like, um, A, like, your health is number one. So, like, yeah, after this, I'm going to go in the steam room and, like, sweat out, like, everything. Because I had a, show, a photo shoot last night, and I had, you know, I was in the studio, and, you know, um... I'm super healthy. I eat organic foods, fruits and vegetables, but like the air quality in some places is not the best. So yeah, man, like I think for acting, I've learned that it's important to keep yourself healthy physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, keep yourself grounded, breath work. 
yeah. and emotionally be raw, which could be awesome. It's awesome for your acting and your music, mm -hmm. but in real life, it could be. I like to. I pretend I'm like a Zen master in real life. I'm like. <laughs> Like, I pretend I'm like a yogi. Like, yeah. I am a yogi. I practice yoga every day. I was going to, like, 10 years ago, I was going to move to India and become, like, a kundalini yoga meditation instructor. Amazing. So I'm all about, like, breath work and, you know, just, like, healing through sounds and breath work and movement. So they Keeping both you grounded. Yeah, yeah, they both are. Acting and, the answer to your question is acting and music techniques i use for both of them both um help each other a lot uh it's just much more freeing in music because i don't have to like hide behind a character's name or mask yeah. very vulnerable um, yeah I, I i can see that yeah um let's think back to young max your childhood um what was the me or what were the or who were sorry were the artists that you were listening to or that shaped your your interest and your love for music. Ready? I'm gonna go through my playlist of my like favorites right now. So listen to them. I gotta be honest, like I really just loved Justin Bieber. Nice. Uh, <laughs> I love his song You Smile. Mm -hmm. Uh such a pure song. I love like early Justin Bieber at the end, love journals, Justin Bieber. Yeah, I love where I go. I'm Justin Bieber. Um, I was to Selena Gomez, Taylor Swift, uh, Ariana Grande. Um, yeah, real yeah. kind of like a great pop. My my ex Demi, I listened to her like that was one of my favorite singers for sure. Nice. She, she still is. Yeah. They 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 all are. I love them all. Yeah, they all. Yeah, there. fantastic artists. Yeah. Um, so you, you grew up in New Jersey, um, now you're in LA. How does life in New Jersey compare to life in LA? It's funny, like, everyone in New Jersey, my town, like, thinks they're really famous. <laughs> everyone thinks they're super famous, like, it's crazy, like, everyone's like, they don't, they don't really care, like, I grew up, like, I mean, they want a picture with me on their social media, but, like, everyone there is, like, so funny. Have you seen Jersey Shore, the TV show? Yeah, yeah. Is it true life? Is it is it what it's like? Um, would you say that's, like, my hometown? Jersey Shore? It's, yeah, it's literally my hometown. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone thinks, everyone thinks they're famous. Everyone thinks that they're... They are, you know, a star. And yeah. you know what? They all are. We're all yeah. I think everyone's just like, bro, everyone has something to offer to the world. It's just funny. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Every everyone is a star in their own right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned yoga. Um, what other kind of techniques keep you grounded? Because I know it's a career and industry where you're gonna meet a lot of people um looking for a leg up themselves. What what keeps you grounded and your your head above water? I could tell you off of my experience right now, what's been really grounding. My mom is sitting here right now on my couch. Mom can come say hi. Basically, like, it helps to have my family around. Yeah. Hey, mom. Hi, hi. How are you? Hi. Me too. I didn't tell her she was going to be on camera, so I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell? Amazing. Uh, uh, and that keeps me really grounded, having my family around me, like, and I talk to my friends and my family every day, like, um, I surround myself with people that treat me and that I treat, like, respectable person. <laughs> yeah. Like, to be around um, anyone that is has any uh emotive, ulterior motives or treats me like I'm better than anyone, worse than anyone. Like I just am. Like I'm just like here chilling. Yeah. Nice. That family are key, aren't they? Absolutely. I think it's super my dad left today to go back to New Jersey because he was just like missing his like 
routine and stuff, but I'm gonna see him after in like the holidays and stuff. So he's nice, lovely. Um, so you've you know, for some of a young age, you've got a lot of achievements in your career, and whether that be your television work or your music work, um, what is it that you are most proud of so far? Maybe it's not part of your career, but you kind of think back on your time on this planet. What is it that you know you're the most proud of? So proud of myself for the rollout of this year of Southern Gospel and this the film that I started and this because proud that I gave everything to the role in the, this music but then also the rollout the press interviews and stuff like I'm just happy and grateful that I'm in a place where I'm so focused and grounded enough to come come on to everything on time and like if I don't it's because trapped like things I can't control yeah you know, things, it's not that, like yesterday my session got pushed back and there was nothing I could do but I just I really it was what it was at and that was not that's not but that's not how I I like as much as I like to be like a free-flowing artist I think I thrive the most when they're structured and when I like go to things on time even early I like showing Rudy and my manager and me were at an art session like my parents and me showed up and we went with Rudy like it was like two hours before his session because we just happened to be in the area doing another interview with iHeartRadio yeah. and Ray on Dab TV. And that to me was awesome. So I'm grateful that I'm in a headspace that I I know exactly what I want and the impact I want to have on society through my art. And I'm willing to, my ego is so melted that I am just trying to just like spread love and light to the world. Thanks. It's a good man. Um, so I'm speaking to you from the UK. I need to ask about your experiences of the UK and Europe. Um, have you got any favorite places to visit or um, cities you've really enjoyed seeing? Um, so the only place, so in uh, Europe, I've only been to the UK. Okay, go. Cool. I went to the West End. Um, I saw a, a play called End of the Rainbow. It was about Judy Garland. And oh, fantastic. Uh, I recommended it because if one of the first, I think the first movie my parents or grandparents introduced me to was The Wizard of Oz. And I do think that that movie has a lot of themes that are very, um, sorry, the lighting is like, it's just so bright outside right there. Um, the, the, the themes are just like so central to like life. Like, you know, like the wizard, like you can relate the wizard to like, a lot of people that put up facades of power and you know there's obviously tests along the way just like Dorothy had and you meet people along the way that help your journey and I saw that play I don't know do you know about it End of the Rainbow? No I haven't heard of that that's that's new to me it sounds yeah. interesting. Probably the last year or last couple months of Judy Garland's life and it was okay. very, very tragic um she was really young when she entered the entertainment industry. Uh, my parents wouldn't let me enter at a young age. I was so mad at them. Like, I hated them. Like, right, mom? Yes, you did. I was so mad. Like, I was like, in my mind, I was like, I, because I would watch the Disney Channel and they'd be like, I have to be this all by at the time I'm 14. Otherwise, my life is over. And, <laughs> and I'm grateful that I waited till I was 15 and to move to high school to New York City and get into the industry. I was, I'd started dancing for the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden in front of like Jay-Z and Beyonce. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I think there's there's definitely real messages in in The Wizard of Oz, I think, that, that really sort of translates to this day, as you said. Um, and for a film that's, you know, about 90 years old, isn't it? it it's crazy to think it's still so popular and, and so enduring so yeah, yeah it's, a good, it's a good one made the new version of wicked with ariana grande that was filmed in the uk so that's going to be sick yeah, absolutely um i would really like to, to wrap up with some quick fire questions nothing too uh too strenuous just the first thing that pops into your head um so 
What brings you joy? Oh, good food. Good food. Um, your favorite movie? Mm. We come back to that one. Yeah. Um, the last song you listened to? Uh, Champagne Supernova by Oasis. I mean. Nice. Um, was this because it was a UK interview? <laughs> Nothing to do with that at all. Um, your all time. For a long time. Um, your all time favorite singer. Um, do you have the iPod chargers? Mm -hmm. My favorite, all time favorite singer is. I know you want to hear a rapid response. Um, oh man, uh, all time favorite singer. Oh, that I like to listen to their voice or like the songs and their yeah, voice. go go voice, go voice, voice right now in this day and age. Um, I love. Uh, I love listening to Ariana Grande. Nice. Um, if you could have written any hit song, what would it have been? Honeymoon Avenue by Ariana Grande. <laughs> um, would you choose a banger or a ballad? Combo. Um, um, it's a tough one. Yeah. Uh, uh, banger, banger, a banger right now. I'm in a place in my life where it's a bang. Biggest yeah. fear. Oh. My biggest fear. My biggest fear is probably like repeating the same mistakes of from my past. Nice. Um, and lastly, where can fans find you online? Um, they can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and um, TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, uh, on TV. I have another film coming out later this year. I can't talk about it yet, but yeah, my username is at Max Eric N A X E H R I C H again N A X E H R I C H. I think it's upstairs, mom. Upstairs. Yeah. Thanks for having me there. Um, Fantastic. No, no worries. Max, it's it's been a real pleasure talking to you. Um, and um I really loved hearing about back roads and your film career, um, and just you know what makes you you. It's been really interesting. Um and appreciate the time. Of course, brother. I would love for you to come to a session sometime. I know that'd be a dream. In the US, October uh eighth, come to the video and if not, come to the premiere party. Um, probably be like two weeks after. Yeah, you're more than welcome to come through to all my like artistic endeavors, celebrations. So nice. That's Keep it kissing with our eyes closed. At the movies in the back row, we can kick it on the down low. Take it to the back rows, back rows, back, back, back rows.